Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, please like, share and subscribe if this resonates. It won't obviously resonate for everyone. I'm reading for the collective. But this is a mid-August reading that I'm doing. So take what resonates and let the rest go into the ether. So Spirit, can you please show me the message you want me to give to Virgo today, please? For mid August. Here we go. Flexible. Now, this could be flexibility, it could be compromise that's needed here, but we'll see. I'm going to put a spread out, then we'll clarify the spread, and then there'll be a uh, spirit uh, advice at the end. So we've got yin. This is emotional energy. This is the feminine, divine feminine energy. It's about how you're feeling about things, of what we can create, uh, what we're passionate about, all that sort of energy, um, creative energy. And TikTok is divine timing lets it play here. This is divine timing card for me. So spirits having a hand in uh, what we're creating here and, uh, you know, when this is going to happen for us. Now, what we'll do is we'll clarify, or we'll just put the spread out and then we'll clarify. Flexible, that's one in nine's ten for me, so that's the end of a cycle. So being flexible, it could be in forgiveness, it could be flexible in anything. Time sharing in a relationship, it could be give and take, whatever it may be, it's going to work well for you because it's going to move you on to the next cycle. And it's going to be able to make you create great balance in your life. Or be able to create whatever it is you want because when you're in a balanced energy like this you, you can be a great creator and you're very attractive to people when you're in a forgiving energy and a flexible energy and you're coming and going with people you're very attractive so that attracts attractive things to your life okay but like i say divine time is at play here so that's three there for me so this is about laying stabilities it can be like laying grounded solid foundations in which to build things so if you're being creative it could mean that as well but there's going to be, have to be flexibility here. So flexible can just be accepting that this is not the right time and we need to accept that, uh, can be acceptance that divine timing is at play in our lives. Yeah, it's about our great stability here. She's a beautiful, stable, um, nurturing energy. She's one with her environment and everyone in it. Um, she's got all her, her home comforts around her. She's got great stability around her. And this can be through making compromises within your relationships, within your workplace, uh, coming and going with people around you. Uh, and that can lead to great creativity. She's, she's very unattractive in it. She's very attractive as well in the place she's in here. Obviously, it's not gender specific. Yeah, this would bring transformation for you. If you were more flexible, in whatever way that resonates with you, this is going to bring great transformation. So this is like creating brand new things. It's out with the old and in with the new. It's a Scorpion energy here. Uh, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. So it might be someone that you need to be flexible with. An environment. Your finances. Yeah. See, this is the start of new beginnings. It's going to be a wonderful transformation for you if you become flexible. You'll create great stability for yourself and you'll start to build new things. So this is about stability. This could be within a job place, a job environment, beg your pardon, your workplace, uh, your home life, your finances, anything that's tangible in your life, your family. But it's to do with stability and to transform this. It would serve you well, Virgo, to be flexible, to definitely be flexible. Can we please have the three cards under Yang, please? Yeah. Another queen, beautiful queen. She uses her intuition. She's very psychic. She's loving. She's caring. This is a beautiful, she is the yin energy for me. You know what I mean? She's 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 tuning into herself, everything round about her, everyone round about her. She's very flexible. She creates beautiful things through using her intuition. So whatever your intuition is telling you, don't be rigid about things. 
Don't be set in your ways. There's other ways of doing things here. It's been it's about being open to looking at things from a different perspective. The higher thing, it will bring you into a beautiful, beautiful spiritual energy here. And it's being in line with yourself, your higher self than me here. That's what this means in this reading. And it's about bringing in good values. Connect in with your values. What your values are for you, it's about your self-esteem, our, our social um, society's rules and things like that. What works for you here? It could be rules and regulations that work for you. And you might have to be a bit flexible here. But it will still bring you great stability. Yeah. It's about manifestation here. If you want to manifest what you want, you've got everything you need here to manifest great stability for yourself. But you're going to have to be flexible if you want to go towards that and bring change into your life. Whatever you're manifesting, you benefit. See? Whatever you're manifesting would be transformed if you were flexible. Can we do the TikTok spirit? We'll clarify these cards, but I'll clarify them more in a minute. And then there'll be an angel uh, message at the end. The moon, your intuition again. Things could be revealed to you that you don't see just now. So this is things that you can't see that are going to be revealed to you. And through being cooperative, you learn more uh, through coming and going with people. You could learn more and gain more. And it would help you move towards whatever it is you want to manifest here. But divine timing is at play here. Divine timing is always at play when it comes to manifestation. We're co-creating with spirit. Nothing happens before it's meant to happen. Yeah. And this is the work card. This is the seven of... Sorry, I beg your pardon, the Eight of Pentacles. So this is about the details. This is about working hard, paying attention um, to things. It could be working hard at being flexible as well. So I keep getting drawn back to this card. I don't know how many times. Uh, this is going to bring transformation. So it's being focused. He's very focused. Focused on what you're manifesting. Accepting where you're at, where you're meant to be at this moment in time. Everything gets revealed in divine timing. When the time's right, you'll get to know more. So just now you have to be at one with yourself in the universe and, and accept that where you are is where you're meant to be. But the changes will come in. So you might have to be compromising at the moment. You know, the flexibility could be compromising. You feel that you're having to do things you don't want to be doing just now because you're manifesting. This is a lesson in manifestation, I think. One more card. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. This is the world card. This is new cycles. This is manifesting new things for yourself. Now, what this is meaning is nothing happens before it's meant to happen. So you might be having to compromise and do things that you wouldn't want to do. You might be in a job you don't really particularly want to be in, but it's giving you the stability that you need at the moment. But you have got this wonderful idea of what you want to create in your life. This is what this is. This is a beautiful yin energy. You've got an idea of what you want to create here in your world. And if you accept that you're a co-creator with spirit and that things happen in divine timing, manifestation does not happen until the time's right, then you will. Things will be revealed to you when the time's right and you'll be able to go forward and you'll be able to create this beautiful, brand new start of stability for yourself. So it could be like I say that you've got ideas at the moment that you want to manifest. You may have goals that you want to manifest, that you're passionate about, uh, but it's not happening at the moment. So could we please clarify the moon card? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. There's things going to be revealed. You will get clarity. The Queen of Swords gets clarity. There's more things coming in, more things going to be revealed to you that will put you in the Queen of Swords energy. And she, then you'll be able to take action. She comes from an intellectual place. She cuts out people and situations that no longer serve her. She does this. She, she starts new things. She's got that energy would help you come in to build, uh, transform things and bring yourself towards brand new cycles and move you towards your manifestations that you want to create for yourself here. 
That's beautiful. Is there anything else? Yeah, yeah. See, the Queen of Pent the, the Queen of Pentacles again. This is about your stability, your home life, your your environments, everything. You're going towards abundance here, but it's just not helping at the moment. It's not happening, I beg your pardon, at the moment. But this abundance is coming in. It's going to come in in divine timing. It won't come in before it's meant to happen, though. So, you know, it's, please be patient just now. Just keep your head down. Work away, because you're good at what you do. Work away, uh, and the, the universe will reward you when the time's right for all the hard work you're putting in. Can we please clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please? What are we working about? Yes, we're working towards the King of Cups. So we're working towards great stability here, harmony. This is a beautiful energy of being in control of your emotions, being happy, being kind, joyful, absolutely joyful uh, happiness. He's he's not upset. He. He's in, even if he's in stormy waters, because he's where he wants to be in life, he deals with it from an emotionally stable point of view. So a beautiful, loving place is going to take you to. And this is a judgment. The judgment is going to become in your favour because it's a manifestation and you've done the work here. You've done the work. You've been prepared to put your head down and get on with. And this is about the universe coming in and you're rising above things and coming in. When you rise above things, the universe is having a hand in your manifestations here. This is about co-creating with spirit. But obviously with spirit, um, a beautiful emotional place here. You're going to be so content and so happy with this. This is about, um, when you co-create with spirit, it's divine timing. It's not in our, you know, spirit, there's not such a thing as time. There's not, oh, they want to, there's a moon card again. There's not such a thing as time in the spirit world. So things are going to be revealed to you. Like we say, that's twice. So they're telling you, please be patient. There's things coming towards you that's going to bring in great balance. Now, this for me as well is a gift from the universe. What you put into things, you get out here. So equal give and take here. And in the co-creation of process, in the co-creational process, as long as you do the work here, you know, there's people think, oh, you know, I want this and I don't do anything. I just expect everything to land in my lap. This reading here is about you settling down, doing the work, accepting you're on a spiritual journey, knowing and accepting that it takes time. And the universe is going to reward you with something that's going to move you forward towards closer to your manifestations here. And it's going to move you on a beautiful brand new cycle in life. It's absolutely gorgeous. We'll just clarify this. Death card, please, Spirit. Yeah, the hanged man. Looking at things, learning, feeling it's not moving. This can be a stuck feeling energy. Um, it can be that you've been in a waiting period here because he's normally hanging for the tree of knowledge and Spirit holds you there. So you might have the feeling that there's things going to happen. You might instinctively feel, you know, that there's change on the horizon, but it's not happening yet. But this is... Spirit's holding you. You look at the bigger picture of manifestation and you'll realise that divine timing is at play here in anything that you manifest. Things will be revealed when the time's right. You're a bit in limbo just now. So it's about being content. Just, you know, yeah, karmic justice again. We've got the justice card here. Did I not just... I've seen that already. It's the judgment card. I beg your pardon. Justice. This is karmic justice. So this here is the universe coming in and rewarding you and, make, and you'll rise above what you've got just now. You will go towards, the manifestation will come in. Spirit's helping you, but not before it's meant to. So always, you know, spirit holding you there is for a reason. So there's always something better. But, you know, if you're manifesting, for example, an, a, a, a relationship, the other person has to be in the right vibration to connect with you so there's lots of things going on behind the scenes here that you're maybe not understanding or you're, you're not wanting to think about but trust that there's always something going on you're never stuck spirit is always working behind the scenes to help you and that's what this is about here spirit can you please give me some advice for virgo It's 
if you believe. Yeah, this is manifestation. If you believe, it will come to fruition. It's about trusting in the journey here. And just do no way just now until it comes, because there's big happy changes coming. The manifestation process is working, improving health. Now, it doesn't need to be just health. It can be improving anything in your life. So this could be a better diet that makes you feel better. It could be spiritual improvement, anything that you want to improve in your life, whatever this is connected to, but things are definitely going to improve for you. Okay, Virgo, I hope that helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.